Hi, this is Yamin and this is HyperX Pulsefire Dart Wireless. Big name, uh, but uh, relatively small mouse. For last 10 days, this has been my daily driver and I'm here with my 5 minute review. So, let's start with the basics. It has a Pixel 3398 sensor, which is brilliant and it ensures a lack free gaming. It weighs around 110 grams, uh, not exactly the lightest out there, but up to the 80 to 100 grams of mouse you score a comfortable way, uh, then it should not be an issue. The mice has some sort of uh, artificial leather pad in both sides, and it's quite good to hold. And certainly, it up to the lumbar session as you score it will uh, help you a lot. Uh, the mice has six buttons, and this can be customized using the HyperX software. Uh, it has a Type-C port uh, for charging and it also supports wireless charging. Uh, you can basically use any wireless charger to charge this. Uh, it takes around 60 minutes to charge with the Type-C and uh, 90 minutes with wireless charger. Uh, it has a 1 millisecond response rate and DPI setting can be go up to 16,000 and you can change the DPI value by 1. So yes, uh, I mean it will give you precise movement control for your gaming. It's a pump mice and I prefer it that way. Now let's talk about the good sides. The first one is battery life. Uh, the mice can stay alive for at least a week if you use it for 8 to 10 hours of work and 3 to 4 hours of gaming with RGB light on, uh, with 50% brightness at least. Uh, without the RGB, it can go up to 10 days. Standby performance is great. Uh, the battery percentage, you can check it from the software. And it has a 500 mAh battery. Uh, the Type-C port charges quite fast. and There's wireless charging too. Uh, just as I said before. Uh, one of the main reasons I bought this mouse because most of my electronic devices has Type-C port and I have like a single charger and Type-C cable I have a shop device charge So it's, I mean it's, it's hassle free. Uh, the performance is great. Uh, I have so far faced no lag at all. Uh, the dongle is connected in the uh, laptop and it's almost 3 feet far away from this mouse. So I have so far I have faced no uh, low response rate or something like that. The build is great for this mouse. Kite Kono Tharone Bubble name, Looseless 9. And uh, the artificial leather pad feels pretty good. Uh, the switch life is 50 million. And with the HyperX software, you can basically change the polling rate, uh, DPI values, assign macros, uh, RGB uh, effect you can control. Now, the bad side. Sometimes it takes a bit of time to break it from the sleep mode uh, and you need to turn off the switch on and off to do that. Uh, so last 10 days it has and I hope it's not an issue. Uh, let's see. Uh, being a wireless mouse, this doesn't have any Bluetooth. Uh, well, it's not a big deal breaker for me, but if you plan to use this for both work and gaming, Bluetooth to help hoy for uh, battery life and definitely you don't have to carry the dongle always with you. Speaking of the dongle, you cannot keep inside this thing in your mouse. So it's a hassle for me. In case of traveling, it's not friendly at all. Uh, the material is sort of oil stain uh, magnet. So yeah, it has to clean it. So final verdict, should you buy it? Uh, well, it depends. If you have multiple devices that support Type-C charging, uh, you are planning to have a single charger and cable for everything, then yes. I mean, it's a comfort. But also, it has a great battery life, uh, fantastic response rate, and a simple software to control your preferences. So far, I have played Gears 4, Gears 5, Rage 2, Call of Duty 4, and I have faced no lag at all. So I think, performance-wise, it's great. But uh, the price of this mouse is $84, and uh, which is Bangladeshi taka, I think, Shari and Hajar Takan Mutapna Porve, and yes, it is not a budget segment mice. If you prefer something in budget, then I would rather uh, request you uh, to go for Razer Viper Mini, uh, unless uh, wireless is a must need for you, uh, or uh, you can wait for Steel Series Rival 3, uh, which should be, I think, around $60. That should be a great uh, deal too. So the Performance wise, it has no issues. So, guys, thank you. Thanks for your time. I hope this brief uh, review would help you. Uh, as an accessory, you will get this Type C cable and the dongle connector that can be placed in your desk. So, 
Thank you. Thank you again. Uh, this is Yamin signing off. Review under five.